It's G.I. Joe against Cobra and Destro fighting to save the day. And that day is August 7, 2009. That's when Paramount's live-action feature film based on the popular toy, cartoon, and comic book franchise finally hits theaters. With filming already underway, it's time for you to meet the cast who will bring G.I. Joe and Cobra to big screen life. First up, Paramount drafted two cast members from its upcoming Iraq war drama Stop Loss for the lead roles in G.I. Joe. Channing Tatum will play the Joe's field commander, Duke, while Joseph Gordon-Levitt has been cast in the hush-hush role of Duke's best friend. Rumor has it that a dark future is in store for Gordon-Levitt's character, said to be a former Joe, but that's all we're gonna say. I have the money, I have the power! Dennis Quaid is the biggest name in the G.I. Joe cast. He'll play Duke's mentor and the Joe's leader, General Hawk but how large of a role Hawk has remains to be seen. Quaid has said that Paramount hopes to turn G.I. Joe into a trilogy. Oh my god. Certainly, the most controversial casting has been that of Marlon Wayans as the Joe's paratrooper Ripcord. The casting of the White Chicks and Lady Killer star in a film by Steven Summers, the director of The Mummy and Van Helsing, has made some fans worry that G.I. Joe will be a campy send-up. By most accounts, however, the movie intends on honoring its comic book roots. Another of the film's more well-known cast members is Stardust and Layer Cake actress Sienna Miller, who plays the beautiful but deadly Baroness, one of the leaders of Cobra Command. G.I. Joe marks the first time Miller will appear in a big Hollywood action movie. Playing the Baroness's lover and the film's main villain, Scottish arms dealer Destro, the producers have cast Doctor Who star Christopher Eccleston. Eccleston's no stranger to playing heavies, having also starred in 28 Days Later and The Seeker. You and all your kind will be destroyed. For Zartan, Cobra's master of disguise, director Steven Summers looked no further than his old mummy villain, Arnold Vosloo. Sadly, Zartan will reportedly be without his Aussie sidekicks, the Dreadnoughts. South Korean martial arts star Byung Hun Lee has been cast as the deadly ninja Storm Shadow. Storm Shadow's arch enemy, fellow ninja Snake Eyes, will be played by martial artist turned actor Ray Park. Park brings an established fanboy following thanks to his roles as Darth Maul in Star Wars Episode I The Phantom Menace and as Toad in X-Men. Playing Snake Eyes' red-headed, crossbow-wielding love interest Scarlet will be P2 star Rachel Nichols, who first gained notice for her role as Rachel Gibson on Alias. Sienna Miller and Rachel Nichols aren't the only beauties in the G.I. Joe cast. Czech supermodel Karolina Kurkova, best known for her work with Victoria's Secret, will play CoverGirl, a supermodel-turned-Joe member. The big screen G.I. Joes will be far more diverse than their real American hero counterparts. The film will be more like the international operatives of the Mission Impossible movies than the U.S. Special Forces troops depicted in the comics and on TV. To this point, the filmmakers have cast British actor Adewale Akinoye Egbaje, best known to fans as Mr. Echo on Lost, as the Joes' ordnance expert, Heavy Duty, and French-Moroccan actor Saeed Tamawi, recently seen opposite Dennis Quaid and Vantage Point, as the Joes' communication officer, Breaker. The film will reportedly be set 10 years in the future so as to not alienate international audiences wary of America's current military operations abroad. While plot details are being kept firmly under wraps, it's understood that the film will chronicle how Cobra Command came to power and how the Joes are called into action to stop them. So now you know, and knowing is half the battle. Yo Joe.